Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. Happy Saturday. Happy New Year's Eve. This week has flown by, and I have just really enjoyed getting to chit-chat with all of you all week long. But anyway, we got some goodies. We've got our champagne, our sparkling wine. We have our wink wine because my new box is already shipped and I haven't finished my old box yet. We've got something that I've never had before, so I'm excited to try it. It's like a little dinner and wine extravaganza. I have got two special Nutcracker guests today. They're symbolic of something. And so anyway, let's just get into the New Year's Eve countdown. Hi everyone, Happy New Year's Eve. I'm Nancy and I am so excited to see you guys tonight. I know you guys probably have a ton of things to do, whether you're going to a party or having special dinner with your friends, your family. Just uh, anyway, so we're going to try to get into it, but I, I tell you, some days I'm a little bit lengthier than I wanted to do. And can you tell, I think my cold is finally gone. Knocking on wood here. Yeah, I have no idea, but I'm feeling really good. I've had a lot of sleep this week, so I'm feeling good. But anyway, so New Year's. So anyway, I've got this little New Year's Eve. It's kind of like a crown because I wanted a crown, right? Before when I started to get into the fascinators and hats. This is just from Amazon. I've got my uh, Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski. My crystal earrings here and this... Uh, Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski Everlasting Necklace. This I actually won in a giveaway. I love this necklace. It is so sparkly. It just feels really, really special. I've got just a Heidi Dow's ring here and then just my regular rings over here. And the dress, I do not know how old this is. It used to be a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, it's not that I got taller, just uh, you know, you know how that goes. But it's got more sequins, more sparklies on it. It's got this waist that used to probably go down more to my waist, which is probably why it doesn't go all the way to my knees anymore. It's just got all these sequins and sparkles. It is a nice stretchy material, so it is really comfortable to wear. And then, uh, right now it goes a couple of inches above my knee, but it used to go to my knee. So anyway, just fun. My nutcrackers. So... I took two of them today and these I probably would have just got at Target maybe Walmart or you know just a store like that that has some decorations here and there and so they're my Scottish nutcrackers with a kilt and uh, these are if, if you've watched any of like uh, things about the royal family her late majesty Queen Elizabeth and now King Charles they have got an awesome, awesome bodyguard. He used to, his name is like Lieutenant Colonel Johnny Thompson. If you've ever seen any videos of him. Oh my gosh. So handsome. And he wears kilts. So you had to start off my New Year's here. These are, are in honor of Colonel Lieutenant Johnny Thompson. So handsome. And he looks really good in his kilts too very suave and sophisticated all righty so there's them the champagne that we're having tonight and i know i've seen this brand like in stores so you know regular big bottles so it's i don't know if it's frasinet or trazinet but it's a brute so it should be dry um we'll see if it shows up for us in the back so I can tell you where it's from and it is a product of Spain 
and 11.5% alcohol. So this should be pretty good. Okay, and I'm going to be having that and not in a flute tonight. I have one of these Lolita when I was like into like Cosmos and, the, and I forgot all about the lemon drops until Ali Bell mentioned it and apple martinis and things like this. So I've got this glass from Lolita and it's like the New York skyline here on New Year's Eve with all the uh, fireworks going off and then this like disco ball that's attached to it. So anyway. This is what I'm going to have my little champagne in tonight. And for my wink wine. And it's the wonderful wine company. And it's a 2020 Melvis, Melvisa Blanca. So anyway, looking forward to trying this wine out. I've never had that before. And when I look at, did I bring my cheat sheets in? I did, they're right in front of me. Alrighty, so this wine, it's an orange wine. I know. So it was rated 3.7 out of the five. And it's medium, it's dry, it's 13%. The tasting notes are going to be like apricot, orange peel, white flowers, and white peach. And it had, when it, they give you these suggestions on what to pair it with and different recipes. And this was like mentioning like Thai. Okay, there's the wine, the wonderful wine. But it mentions forbidden rice salad with a Thai coconut lime dressing. And that just kind of made me start, focus please, made me start thinking of like Asian cuisine and things like that. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to try sushi. I know, that's a big, bold, bold step for me. So I did DoorDash today for New Year's Eve. And... Uh, there's a place in the center of town called Sakura Express, and of course I've never been there. But they, I go on the website every now and then just trying to think of things that are different to have, and I've never done it before. But I said, you know what, I'm going to try their sushi. And then when you, you go to pick that, they cut like a hundred different kinds, so it's really hard. But it came in this. I already took two out, and I just kind of reheated them. But look at the little tray it comes in. Isn't that cute? And I, yeah, if you like uh, spicy things, this green stuff over here, I was like, oh, what the heck is that? Is that something you dip it in? Oh my God, I had teeny, teeny, tiny bit. And it was like, wasabi! That was hot. That was hot, my friends. But they look delicious. These ones are called Yummy Yummy. And they are cooked. Um, they did come warm. And then I wasn't ready to eat yet, so I... Put, a, put them in the refrigerator and then I heated some up in my toaster oven but it's sh shrimp and crab and there's cream cheese in there and I forgot what else shrimp and crab deep fried some kind of yum yum sauce and maybe something spicy and masagro or something I don't exactly know what that is but I thought it was worth a try and just in case I didn't like it I got an old standby I got some orange chicken, some rice, and then I got something that I don't know how to pronounce called gyoza or something. So it's like these little pot stickers. And they've got like, I think that's pork and cabbage and things like there, that in there. But I got the, uh, the sushi right here. And then the uh, chicken and rice here. Let me put it on this plate. And this is my microphone that I just knocked over. And I haven't used these in a while, but I got my plate here. And just put it on the silver charges. Just kind of make it look special. So we got that to do. And I think with all that, I probably do not need to have my petty four. So that way I don't have to worry about forgetting it. But let's try the wine first. So anyway, I hope you guys have some fun plans tonight. And if not, I hope you join me and maybe just dress up, have a little bit of fun, 
get something that you like, you know, do takeout if you want something that you haven't had before in a while, or order a pizza, just something fun, just relax, or put your favorite movie on TV, or just something that you want to do, just relax and have fun, dress up if you want, or I am making a mess out of this. Yeah, this is, I made a mess. I am really good at making messes. Alrighty, so I'm looking forward to tasting in this champagne. Not going to be as fancy as in the uh, flutes, but I love this glass. Or Lolita glass. And as always, she always has a recipe on the bottom. So for New Year's teeny, it's got brandy, ruby port, orange juice, and champagne. I've never made that, but who knows, maybe someday. Let's put a little bit in here. It's got some nice effervescence. Happy, happy New Year's, everyone. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to be sharing part of your night. Cheers. Mm. That is good. It's a nice, dry, sparkling wine. Champagne. Alrighty. So let's get ready to taste this orange wine. It's weird because it doesn't say orange any place on the label. Unless it's on the back and I didn't see it. But I got my handy dandy wine opener. So I'm just going to shut this off while I open that up. Save a little bit of time. Alrighty, we got the bottle open, and I've got this one in my Robin with a Y wine glass. And it's probably not going to show up too good, but she's got her black dress on and her Swarovski jewelry. She's got a cowgirl hat. She's got a bottle of wine. And it says, well, it's got my name on it, Nancy, and today it's all about me. Well, it's, it's not. It's all about all of us, right? All right, looking forward to tasting this. It's probably more than I needed to put in there, but oh well. I can always pour it back in the bottle when no one's looking. Cheers, everyone. Let's sniff this first. And not really sensing orange. Maybe I am taste sniffing some apricot. All righty. Cheers, everyone. You do taste that kind of citrusy orange, almost like it's mixed with the grapefruit. So it's like tart, but sweet, but, but, but on the dry side as well. But it is, you do taste that orange in there. So that would make a nice breakfast wine. Maybe mix it with champagne and a little splash of orange juice too for breakfast or brunch. All right, yeah, so that's gonna be interesting. So I'm going to cheat and use a fork. They give me they did give me chopsticks, but I am dying to see what this sushi tastes like. Actually, I'm a little nervous at the same time. I think it really maybe I should just pick it up and eat it with my fingers, right? That'll probably be easier than trying to use a fork. Alrighty. So this is what it looks like on that side. And that side. Alrighty. Shrimp and crab. How bad can it be? Right? Cheers. Mmm. Must be the seaweed that makes it a little stretchy. It tastes mostly rice. I do have this sauce for the things I can't pronounce. But the sauce on this is good. It's got a nice flavor to it. Let's try to get a bite of crab this time. Mm -hmm. It is good. Alrighty, so that is my New Year's Eve dinner and got my wine got my champagne 
still got plenty of sushi here and a whole thing of orange chicken and broccoli yeah why do they have to give you broccoli i guess it gives it a roundabout healthy type thing right so anyway thank you guys so much for doing the countdown to new year's with me um tomorrow we will do the giveaway so i think i've got one more sparkly dress at least one i know i probably have more but we'll dress up again and we'll just do that giveaway tomorrow and then i think i'm gonna sleep yeah that was a that was a lot of talking this week this whole month but i've had so much fun uh ch chatting with you guys every night now oh, it's gonna be fun just trying to catch up watch some other people's vlogmases and just see what everyone else did for Christmas and the New Year's and you guys have just been amazing so if you haven't I will link that um, giveaway up there again in case you get a chance to watch it before I do the giveaway and um, yeah so good luck everyone thanks so much for joining me happy happy New Year everyone stay safe everybody take care be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun Love you guys so much. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Happy New Year. I just wanted to come on again and just thank you all for all your support throughout the year. It really means a lot to me. I hope everyone has a happy and healthy but a fun new year. I realize I say fun a lot too much, but anyway, just thank you guys so much. I put in some pictures here of a Lieutenant Colonel, uh, Johnny Thompson, so I hope you appreciate those pictures. Um, also, uh, I want to thank the people that did uh, submit pictures to me to use in the closing to the countdown to New Year's. I know some people probably thought that was weird that I requested pictures, but you guys have seen me in my Halloween costumes and, you know, my ugly sweaters. Do you really have to ask how strange I am? Hello. But anyway, I want to thank those that did. I hope uh, to do that again next year. So if you're watching this and thinking, gee, I would like to submit a picture, you can submit it to me anytime and I will save it to a file so that I can use again next year. We had three lovely, lovely ladies that do not have a channel, but they support so many of us. So I want to give them a quick shout out. We had Gail McAfee, Janet, and Donna Williams. I see them responding and supporting so many of our channels. So thank you so much ladies from the bottom of my heart i've also listed some channels below that submitted me pictures i hope if you aren't subscribed to them you show them some love as well we have age is just a number by barbara jean we have ali bow miss jackie russell glamburger glam alicia martin young ed hart aka kala julia b's beauty debbie jeans this and that and one of my newest subscribers that also has a channel his name is alfred um he's like i said he's pretty new he's got some really adorable puppies that he features in some of his videos he's been doing the a vlog series with the aldi the beer calendar uh, advent calendar as well as uh, the wine from total wine so i hope that you go and show alfred some love they will be down in my description below again thank you everyone Happy New Year and uh, best wishes for the new year.